Hi Blossoms! Well, today I'm going to talk about my hair regimen. I know a few of you guys have been wanting to know exactly what I do to my hair. So today I'm going to, you know, give you guys a little bit more detail on what I actually do to my hair. So the first thing that I want to talk about is deep conditioning. So with deep conditioning, um, I usually um, would apply the mixture to my hair in sections and um, I would usually then um, put on a plastic bag, a hot damp face cloth that I would have heated up in the microwave for about a minute, um, another plastic bag and then a beanie. Um, I do this because I want to you know, get extra heat um, on my scalp so that you know the deep conditioner can work effectively um, and I'll usually leave the mixture on my hair for about 30 minutes to one hour before I rinse it out and um, the mixtures or the deep conditioners that I usually use are either bentonite clay um, organics conditioner or a Diskin brand moisturizing conditioner and I'll mix these with honey, aloe vera juice, um, an oil which could be olive oil, um, um, avocado oil, macadamia oil or even shea butter and the fruits that I would use would be avocado or a banana um, oh and I also could use mayonnaise at times um, so those are what I use for dip conditioning. The next thing I want to talk about would be washing, okay? So when I wash my hair, I would use bentonite clay, but then I only use bentonite clay if I had initially used it as a dip conditioner. So it becomes a two-in-one for me. Um, the other thing I used to wash my hair would be um, Tresemme, no sorry, would be Organics Shampoo, um, but now I've run out of Organic Shampoo and I'm currently using African Black Soap. So African Black Soap originally comes in a solid form. Um, so what you see here is basically, um, Mix, it's basically the black soap mixed with water, so it's a bit more liquidy. It's a bit more runny than you know it's, than you know what it originally looks like. But when I use it, I would you know scoop a little bit of that into my spray bottle, and then I add water and um, olive oil or any oil I have. Um, yeah, and then I'll shake it up and then spritz it on my hair so it becomes, that becomes my shampoo. Um, so that's currently what I'm using now until I run out of that because I just had some around and I decided to use it. So once that runs out, I'll be back to my organics shampoo. Um, after washing my hair, I would usually use the Tresemme Naturals conditioner, the rinse out conditioner. Okay, so that's what I use as a rinse out conditioner. Um, so yeah, that's all I do with regards to washing. So the next thing I want to talk about is my the hair preparation. So this is basically the step after washing. So um, after I wash my hair in sections, um, I would then use um, an oil, which could be olive oil, or avocado oil, castor oil, or macadamia oil, um, or any oil. And I still use the Hair Fusion, hair fusion Oil by Kevo. Um, I made a review on this product, you know, a while back, so you guys can check that out if you're interested. And um, I would then use a 
cream, which would be my shea butter. So I then use shea butter as my cream. So this is basically what I'm telling you guys now is the lock method, where L is in my case is water because it's freshly washed hair which is still damp, so there's water in my hair, and then the oils that I mentioned earlier, and then the cream which in my case is shea butter. So that's what I do for my hair preparation step. The next step would be styling. I usually stick to simple styles. Um, as you can see, I really, really like braids. So single braids. So I would usually have my hair in single braids and like I have now. Um, and um, I usually keep my braids in for about four weeks. But I do wash and deep condition it on a weekly basis. And um, yeah, if I don't have my single braid, I would then have um, probably two, two cornrows, my side cornrows that I've made a video on previously. And or if I don't do that, I would have bantu knot, bantu knot outs, which I would wear for a week. Um, I also made a video on that one if you guys want to see. Um, and um, for, you know, special occasions or, you know, when I'm feeling like actually having a hairstyle, I would usually wear my hair um, in a styled look or, you know, in an afro. And these kind of hairstyles are once in a while type of hairstyles. And I only have those for like a day because, yeah, that's not really something I do often. So that's just, that just lasts for one day. So yeah, those are pretty much the hairstyles that I do. The next step would be um, my nighttime routine. So this is pretty much basic stuff. Like all I do is I would cover my hair in a scarf. Um, yeah, that's about it. And a silk, a silky type of scarf. So that's the kind of scarf I use um, when I go to sleep in whatever hairstyle that I have on that day. And yeah that works for me that's all i do and i wake up the next morning i take it off and yeah and i move on with life so that's that's pretty much all i do guys so yeah guys um that's all i do with my hair and um i hope this information was helpful or useful um to you guys that wanted to know this now you know and as you can see, this is like simple, simple stuff. Like I don't do complicated things, you know. I keep it simple and yeah guys, and it works for me. And I'm sure there's some people out there who also want to keep things simple. So when people complain that natural hair takes time, natural hair is difficult, well, I don't see it that way because I do the bare minimum. I keep it simple, you know. So. I guess it varies from individual to individual like how you how you perceive the entire process so like in my case it's not hard it's not difficult it's not time consuming because you know I don't do everything under the sun I just do you know what works for me and I just keep it I keep it basic you know I just stick to the fundamentals and yeah it works for me and yeah guys, that's all I have to say about my hair regimen. Um, I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it was informative. And um, if you guys want to share what you guys do, you could leave that in the comments below. Um, and you could, you know, thumbs up this video if you liked it. And, you know, let me know what other videos you guys would like to see from me in the future. And, um, yeah. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!